was so life-changing when I found out and discovered the study method of mine. You don't have to go through the process of trying to find the perfect study method because I am over here sharing with you the study method that works best for myself. So Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel over here. Today I will be talking about how I study for exams in pharmacy school. So over the past few days I have been updating my Instagram story quite a bit about how I study for exams and I actually made a very short video about how I study for exams on my Instagram story and I just wanted to take the moment right now to thank you all so much for the beautiful comments you've given me and the beautiful feedback that you've given me. I'm so happy that my video has helped you in some way and which is why I have decided to make that video into a YouTube video so hopefully it will help you who's watching right now with your studies as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. do is I go through my lecture slides and I try to understand the information that's written on here. For me personally, this is the most time consuming step because if I don't understand something, I will refer back to the lecture recordings posted online by my university and listen to the lecture and try to fully understand it. But this step, if you do it right, it makes the note taking process a lot easier and it makes the studying so much easier because you genuinely understand the information on there. All right, now to step two. For step two, I write down a very general summary of my lecture notes. And in these set of notes, I include everything on here. I include even the smallest details because I find that writing down things really helps me with memorizing. Step three, I summarize the notes and I categorize it into different sections. For this section, I have vocabulary. At the back, I have a list of formulas. And over here, I have different types of drugs. So I have antidysrhythmic drugs and the different classes of that drug. I have the mechanism of action and drug examples. And these are the different classes once more. And an overview. Antiplatelet drugs, different classes, anticoagulants, antihypertensive, and the different classes. These are the set of notes that I usually refer to before an exam because everything is just so organized and in one page. I then write down questions and answers. So in this process, I pretend that I'm an examiner and I try to think of questions that they would put on an exam. And when I study, I usually cover this up and I try to understand it. So this process is actually the most effective process that I find because through this process, you're actively testing yourself and you're actively remembering and recalling the information, which is exactly what you need to do in an exam setting. When I'm studying by looking through the lecture slides or even my summary notes, I go over it so many times and I've seen the information on there, the drug classes, the drug names over and over again. I feel like I know it, but when I cover it up and I try to recall the information, I actually can't, which is why this step is my favorite step because it's so helpful. It really helps you study actively. You're actively remembering the information. You're actively recalling the information and it was so life-changing for me when I found out and discovered about the study method of mine last year. And here I am sharing it with you. You don't have to go through the process of trying to find the perfect study method for you because I am over here sharing with you the study method that works best for myself. So you really, really, really have to give it a try. And even though it works well on me, I'm not sure if it will work on you as well as it did on me, but you just gotta give it a shot because you never know until you try. I'm so passionate about this step. Anyways, before I get carried away, let's go to the last step, step five. I 
make cue cards. So I find that for jugs, I really need to make cue cards because all the names are so long and so hard to remember and I just get all the jug classes confused. So I split my cue cards into the different jug classes. I have anticoagulants, antihypertensives. I write down the jugs and its mechanism of action in the back and all the information that I need to know about that drug for the exam because I find that drug names are so long and so hard to remember so having cue cards helps so much with the process of remembering them and memorizing them and when I study I actually mix all the different drug classes together I shuffle it and I just like test myself constantly because that way I'm not memorizing them based on the order it's in and I've definitely done that in the past not a good idea didn't do well so I've learned and now I know. I know that this was a lot of information. It was probably information overload. So I'm just going to summarize everything really quickly once more for you all. The first step, I go over lecture slides and I try to understand it. Second step, I make a very general summary of the notes. Third step, I make a very specific summary of the notes. Fourth step, I write down questions and answers so I'm actively testing myself and recalling information. And fifth step, I make cue cards. I know that this is a very tedious process and a very long process and it's not for everyone but I know myself, I'm not a very fast learner and I'm not very smart so I have to put in that extra work to get the grades that I want. And generally, I find that if I follow these processes, I generally do pretty well. I'm pretty happy with the grades that I get. And if I'm very, very, very short on time, then I will only do step one, which is go through lectures and try to understand it. Step three, which is make a very specific summary of the notes. And step four, write down questions and answers. So if you're super short on time and if you have like back to back exams, I wouldn't recommend writing out all the notes and everything, um, which is also why I recommend starting studying for exams probably a month earlier so you have the time to do everything. Let me know down in the comments below if you've given these study methods a try and what your favorite study method was. And give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, even just a teeny weeny bit. I hope that you're all having a lovely day wherever you are in this world and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. How do people make these YouTube thumbnails? It's so hard. Are you supposed to be sad when you study? I give up.